So, when it comes to YouTube and popularity and fame, everybody wants to feel a part of something or be a part of something that's much more bigger than themselves. I bet you or I always wanted to, in life, feel that's just human nature to want to be a part of something that's much more bigger than you, right? To be forward and direct as to say, right? And yet, there's many of us that choose not to do extreme or take extreme measures in order to do that sort of thing. Wanting to be accepted, found, or discovered with that sort of thing, there, there, there has to be a balance in life and not doing extreme things to your own children in order to gain popularity. So like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as, that, as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two things, combine them, make them into one. So this mother, this, this mother, let me ask the question you, the viewer, dear viewer. What would make a mother mistreat her kids for YouTube popularity? What, what in fact would make a mother do that sort of thing? I'm, I'm asking this question because you just never know when it comes to the behind the scenes, family videos, family outings, family photos uh, on YouTube, well, Instagram or so when it comes to photos, and then video, uh, say, young children being directed and guided by their parents to get on camera and say and speak certain things certain ways right some people take things to the extremity level and yet it's not top notch as in they don't have any type of skills with that they're just training their children to do that and i was going to say oftentimes i in fact write about that beating can come with that beating striking kids knocking them over the head with stuff can come with that starvation that's in fact uh, what entailed this this story and this mother up above, right? Which is why she's in the mugshot, as you see. So, a mother's YouTube channel had over seven hundred thousand subscribers and over two hundred and forty million views. The mother, Michelle, yes, Hobson, is her name. If the kids would forget their lines, they would in fact be mistreated, such as beaten like i said before and, and extreme measures in which i'm gonna state so mary copa arizona a youtuber michelle hobson age 48 forced her kids to act in youtube videos it included skits that the kids yes were portrayed in she was in fact the director or producer she didn't go by the title i'm just saying that sort of thing because to be made and afraid to do certain things by your own mother and yet she's not completely your biological mother is to say well she wasn't a real producer so what's the point right so her youtube videos on her channel the name of her channel was in fact fantastic adventures she would in fact starve the kids and beat the kids if and when they did not want to perform for yes these skits on her channel starve them and beat them you just never know. Didn't I say that? You never know what is going on. So next time you see a YouTube video, be aware of what I just said. The mother might in fact play sweet and all the rest on camera and could be a demon or monster behind the scenes. As in the level of care of how she treats her children. Because even that is known and have been known a part of child pageants. Pageants, putting your children in pageants and wanting to live through them because you're not the prettiest and sometimes not the nicest. And so you do things by living through your own kids and believing this just happens to be one of those situations. Or if it's not, you're doing things uh, with the extreme of, well, how can I gain the popularity through my adoptive kids? She was, in fact, adoptive mother, right? not biological gain popularity by doing some human human suffering in a form of human trafficking and i'm saying human trafficking in video form this mother more than likely was doing without selling her kids and sex is a safe video was there to have that many followers and that subscribers is to say money had to have been made being made even if it wasn't a whole lot right it depends 
right the situation when it comes down to the breakdown and logic with that of how much you get paid per video right here on youtube right with that sort of thing and then with the partnership program being gone and all the rest is to say well how long has she been doing it how much has she been paid uh with that sort of thing collision of the partnership program situation with that trying to read the numbers on that is to say well that can still be viewed as human trafficking I don't know if any of you viewers ever consider that sort of thing to enslave your child and beat them and mistreat them and all the rest and sell them off on camera like that is to in fact say you're in fact practicing human trafficking. Ask me what I know. And yet it wouldn't be considered that in legal form. I'm just saying that is in fact what it is. You're selling something, advertising and marketing, and yet you're gaining a pro profit uh, with enslaving them in that form and ma manner. It just has to be said. So Hobson's account on YouTube has been uh, terminated because it violated the rules right here on, within the YouTube community. The kids who were abused in her, in her care, I said that already were in fact adoptive kids and not biological kids. That's more suffering added on top of that. Hobson's biological daughter confessed abuse of her mother towards the adoptive kids. Her daughter came out and expressed Hobson locked the kids in closets and left them in the closets for days without water and food. One child was in fact found in the closet with only a pull-up diaper. That's horrible in itself. The adoptive kids' ages are between 6 years old and 15 years old. What's sad about the investigation is to say to come from a... a home before could have been a foster anywhere these kids could have came from as i say now you might in fact she might have in fact been uh completely re yes redoing the abuse abusive process you don't know where the children have came from right the home and the mindset of the kids right and then for her to do this sort of thing is to crack with that sort of thing the the mental state even children are known to have fragile minds, right? That's what's so sad about it. So the ages, once again, are 6 years old through 15 years old. When they were found, they, in fact, looked very famished. They looked malnourished and were very pale in the skin, right? Hobson will force the kids to take ice baths, and one kid described being beat with belts, hangers, or a brush. And also described that Hobson would, would take pepper spray to them. She would, in fact, spray them from head to toe with pepper spray. That remind me of military and the whole uh, gas chamber process. Not completely. I'm just using that term. That's an illogical, logical, somewhat, right? Slightly. But that's what it reminds me of, the boot camp uh, with that, that whole pepper spray sort of situation so the kids were homeschooled which led to them being forced to do the youtube videos for their mother once again i it is questionable how long uh was the training process before they even got on camera you have to question dear viewer using your own logic did the beatings come before the starting of youtube as in were they always there the beatings or did they come after she did these skit like videos with these kids? Because that could, in fact, add more time. And it should. So, Hobson's two biological sons knew of the abuse but failed to report it. Therefore, the sons faced charges because they failed to tell authorities of the abuse. I just said that right. One of the sons stated he would sneak food to the younger kids but, again, never told. Never told the authorities on his mother, which makes me question if he, in fact, or both of them, in fact, feared their mother. You got grown men that, in fact, be afraid of their mother. That's to say that something could, in fact, be wrong with her or something because you wouldn't, you wouldn't, in fact, not want to hide that sort of thing. If you, if, if you notice that your mom is doing that, such as beating and starving kids for a YouTube video and locking them in the closet and spraying them from head to toe with pepper spray... It's a, it's, why not have a word with your mother about that? As in a letter, no. If you're if you're of age, or even a teenager, 
I will be like, I don't like that type of stuff. I don't like how you're treating my siblings, whether they're adoptive or not. There's no excuse for that. So Hobson herself denied the ice baths. She denied that, and she also denied the usage of pepper spray on the kids. She said she would only ground the kids after spanking them. That was her lie, that she would only ground the kids after spanking them. Well, signs have a way of telling themselves. And when you're taken off the jail, kids have a way of opening their mouth, opening their mouth and telling everything. That's just how it happens. So Hobson was charged with molestation of a child. This grown woman was, yes, charged of molestation of a child, which carries two counts of child molestation. Uh, when it comes to the five counts, yes, five counts of unlawful imprisonment, seven counts of child abuse, and is being held in Pinal County Jail. Pinal County Jail in Arizona. Her sons were charged with seven counts of failing to tell authorities of the abuse. Arizona Department of Child Services expressed the kids were removed from Hobson's care and home and the situation is still under investigation. There's a lot to be questioned about that outside of just popularity. As in what she wanted and couldn't get it on her own to own. Well, not her own to own. That don't even make sense. Her own two feet or her own two levels of attraction, that mother using those babies like that to, yeah, gain some attention or stardom or something which was oh that that would have been completely worse i just not believe i can tell that would have been completely worse if something would have happened say a tv show tv show would have struck a deal or something with that woman one of them kids possibly would have died at the hands of her or something in the process because even tv shows yes you do have where they reach out to want to get you involved well, come do this for us. Come work for us, Brent. You know, the kids, we're going to dress them up cute and, you know, have a, a nice, cute little honey boo boo type of scene. And yet it's going to be five, six, seven, eight kids, right? And yet the mother's mindset ain't going to be right because she's going to think about money. That's usually how it happens, right? So I, I guess it's, it was, in fact, everything happens for a reason. She got found out right in time. Because you never know which which type of new TV work or not TV work TV network may have reached out to her, wanted her to do scandal, but it's childlike and all the rest, right? Dance competition and all that. Uh, yes, I once again the honey boo boo factor, right? Have them all cute with the hair and makeup and fights and all the rest. You never know how she would have been beaten on the kids. Yes, even more physically. It say the kids didn't want to fight on the TV show. You got to look. I look further ahead than many people. Well, I look further further in the examination of, well, what could this have led to? The situation, her situation with these kids. What would have been the outcome? Would it would have been a good outcome or a poor outcome like it did? Would any TV network have got to her? And say either knew or not knew what was going on behind the scenes with the beatings. It's all type of situations that go on even in entertainment industry where abuse goes on. <clears throat> kids be beat half to death their parents because the, uh, the parents doing it towards the kids. Even celebrity kids that grew up as child stars. How many of them were either allowed to be molested. Their parents allow grown men to take advantage of them for the level of money. I look at a situation like that because we're living in a social media uh, era where it's easy to be discovered, right? It, it that It's easy for that sort of thing to happen. And yet, say if she would have been found by someone in TV land or somewhere, a network or anything like that and say abuse was there and they put her on a tv show and behind the scenes she was beating them and smacking them upside the head would anybody would have tried to intervene and stop that but she looked like the type that will be into money or something if you're if you're willing to do that sort of thing for a youtube is to say well what would you do beyond youtube 
and mistreating your kids and possibly kill them, killing them uh, by accident, striking them upside the head because they don't want to perform. That's good. It, found, it was found out when it was. I just said that. Did you, the viewer, think that far? What I just said. What what would have if this if this would have, if this situation would have never been found out of this mother with these beatings and these YouTubes, uh, what what could possibly been the outcome for that? Could one of those kids say have died by an accidental way, or got on drugs later, or uh, let me see what else? Because she got to a point where she started prostituting them or something. Because I mentioned when I said human trafficking, to, to put your child on a camera and to say I'm selling them off, right? And if I'm doing it in bad ways and I molest it, that's to say I am in fact human trafficking them. And yet that's not completely a right legal stance for my own end. And yet I just be thinking if she could take it that far as to say she could more than likely pimp her own kids on a on not on a corner in a bedroom or something with grown men or something grown men and women or something that just seems like her mindset she has a pimp level mindset or something it was to stay legal so we're in fact on investigationdiscovery.com id is up in the far left corner id logo sits right there live now murder comes to town hometown homicide you can in fact watch now this episode by clicking watch now unlocked episodes shouts out to lieutenant joe kenda as well as paula unlocked episodes the atlanta child murders right that sort of thing is back in season as in the news it makes me sick to my stomach because there was, in fact, a magazine about murders, the worst murders in history. And this just happened to be uh, one of those, yes, stories where you just be like, children, though, you're going to uh, be an opportunist with that sort of thing. And yet it's all type of grown men and women walking around. <sighs> I would go lengthy in in depth with that sort of thing as in a mother of a son whose child was in fact killed yes because with the with the murder yes this young child was in fact killed by this man because to to feel in sense well I know you know he did this or that is to say you're gonna possibly if you go out there looking for somebody fall into the path of them you don't know right let me leave that alone i'll allow you the viewer to look more into that sort of situation with these atlanta child murders but it's still under investigation and it has to be because people tell lies they don't be in the right mind frame and not only that they tell lie after lie while killing babies children right which is yeah the situation with that so on last night to gain access to exclusive with this sign in you're going to in fact provide your provider you being a subscriber right provide a provide uh not provide a provider but yes in fact do that sort of thing to gain access because it's all exclusive this is a padlock you can add to watch later by clicking the plus sign this is all on uh, last night it will say the season one episode three season uh in episodes is how it's in fact categorized unlock series you can add to favors by clicking the plus sign with that sort of thing that's for those that enjoy stuff and want to see it again see it later recommend it for you disappeared is a good one that in fact involves missing persons if you do or don't know right you can scroll through this yourself investigation discovery is always about crazy mayhem id go original series also the audio video preview did i just scroll past that to gain access as an audio video preview if there's no padlock on it is to in fact click the play button and you would in fact see 
for yourself what is there. Some people don't don't know, and yet many people do, right? Because some of them have play buttons and others don't, which is why I told that, stated that. So have a tip, help in the pursuit. If you have any information on the case featured on the show, please call one 833 pursue or fill out our online form now. You can com- com- once complete it. Yes, with all of that, it will go right through. But comp- but my words, I'm fumbling like f- fumbling footballs. You can do that. Submit here is how you're gonna do that. So the crime feed, crime feed, crimefeed.com. To be directed to the crime feed on the other side, on the outside, away from away, as in a ways away, is to click within here. You're going to, in fact, be directed to crime feed, crimefeed.com. To receive a newsletter from Investigation Discovery is to type the email address in and click next, and you would, in fact, receive a newsletter. Crime, mayhem, scandal, and all the rest. You see Casey Anthony right there, spotted partying. And everything else with all her little lover boys possibly in secret. <laughs> That's how it goes when you don't serve no time with that. So the preview of the schedule, you can in fact, I'm in fact sitting on it so you can't see it. But there's in fact schedules on here to go by. That's why it helps to be on here. Some people don't know the time. Well, I was wondering what times, you know, this come on. I was wondering what time, you know, Lieutenant Joe Kennedy, what time does that show come on? This or that? I'm talking all out of order because I'm trying to think in the process with that. It depends on your like with that. Your like and your choice, right? It's feasible to say. Not everybody knows. So if you don't know, it's to come right here on Investigation Discovery. Which is why we're on there to find out for you. So I think that's all to be said. What do you think about this mother? I just made a video a little bit ago. This is in fact, uh, it's duplicate. So the first one I'm going to have to in fact delete because there was no sound. I made it for 30 minutes and I'm talking and talking. There was no sound. Because anytime I change my settings on anything, I just fumble stuff and not pay attention. And that was the game with that no sound there's a loss on my own and it started to get real good towards the end though what i was saying and yet i guess i'll leave that for another video i was talking about algorithms i got off topic towards the end and started talking about that but i guess that's not not needed i'll have to make another video about algorithms on its own i got real deep in depth about youtube as in youtube uh needs to be updated As in if people are not, uh, people sit on platforms and they read or they watch stuff, not read, well, read comments, but they watch stuff and say they don't upload, right? They might like a video as in click like or whatnot, and yet they don't do anything. Many old videos, and I stated that before in one of my test videos right here on YouTube, the old videos like that needs to be trashed as in accounts. Even my old YouTube accounts need to be thrown away. With that sort of thing because you're using up space and it's not really a good space or something i don't know and that's uh, it helps to talk heartfelt with that sort of thing i understand some people have made good content in the past there there's a way to in fact download your own video and save it for later but if an account is just sitting dormant it's to say get rid of it because it makes a platform like a YouTube look very bad. Me, I upload once to twice a week. I try to keep it now no more really than once a week. Less is in fact more. The less stuff you do is in fact more, right? It's about quality over quantity, right? And yet to let some videos sit on this platform as I say, it makes it look like, yes, it's dying out. But it helps to keep stuff fresh. I don't want to go through YouTube and see videos that's been sitting on an account, say, 7 to 10 years ago, and it's just sitting there. And then here's a video that's from 2 years ago, and it's just sitting there, and yet nobody's on the account. It's all dormant. It makes a platform look very junky, is what I'm trying to say. It, it, it completely does. There should be some improvement with that. As in the algorithms, what YouTube need to do is, 
as I stated before, because even that's on Instagram or whatever, how people just sit and they watch stuff. There should be an algorithm that is able to pick up activity such as, well, this person, this person hasn't clicked like, and this person hasn't, it hasn't been detected, detected by algorithm that this person has been reading comments or watching videos by other YouTubers or watching videos by content creators. So seeming this, this is not going on and the algorithms say it's not picking it up, right? I don't know if there's something designed for that state of the art, but it needs to be something that is able to measure statistically. If I go on YouTube and say I'm not a content creator, or even if I am, the show, uh, if I made old videos, so I would have to in fact be a content. I would in fact have to be a content creator that made videos. There should be something that shows why I'm on a YouTube platform. I made old videos, right? And yet, it should be able to record, pick me up in data or something to show that I'm active on that account. When I click something to like a video, that should be something that picked that up, right? When I go to click play, it should pick up that, right? When I, what else? When I add it to a playlist or something like that. But more so viewing process should be more recorded with that. Just to let YouTube know, okay, this this account is in fact inactive. If, that, if all that's not going on by a user, that should be able to show a YouTube algorithm sister, system that the account is inactive. And that account, as well as those videos on there from years back, should be deleted off, as in booted off. And that will help with that, the storage process. Because everything has a storage with that. Facebook has a storage. That's why when you upload videos on Facebook, before you upload it, it looks very good in quality. It's in its best quality. But when you, in fact, upload, not video, photos, when you upload to Facebook, you're uploading photos and they look very good in quality. But once you put the photo on Facebook, the quality looks degraded. That's because there's a storage. So everything has to be compressed down for the storage process. It's the same with on here on YouTube. What is not used no more in space or no longer being active but is now inactive such as these old accounts and they're not being used they need to be deleted and whoever wants the old content off their stuff should use stuff in or in or should use stuff programs or whatever to delete their or to save not to delete to download their own videos and save it on a hard drive or save it whatever so that you got it there and then let youtube delete your stuff off or hell, just let the YouTube delete it completely, right? There's no point in nothing. Now, when it comes to, I'm talking more so like uh, music type of stuff or just junk type of stuff. When it comes to educational stuff, that stuff needs to stay up forever. Because it's something monumental in the learning process. Say if it's a lawyer and a lawyer uploaded a video 10 years ago. That stuff like that is legal law uh people giving lectures stuff like that in the educational realm should all stay up and the system should be able to read that but all that other junk needs to be gotten rid of it just does so i think that's all to be said for now once again let me know what you feel about these situations with these mothers uh because i'd be wanting to know uh even on instagram what what are some of these parents doing even what is some of these people doing to their pets, their dogs, their animals and all that, cats and all that, right? What are they doing to make them act right, the owners of pets as well as, because uh, animals, you see animals doing tricks and all the rest in photo form. And yet, what is the owner or whoever is over them, what is they doing in mistreatment to get a still photo, making that animal sit or lay a certain way? Or run and jump a certain way, right? It's the same with the parents. What what are they doing? You don't never know. You don't never know. Because even some, some parents can be volatile. Where if a photo is taken the wrong way or something like that, they just go sporadic and crazy with that. And you don't see. That's, that's just too much. So I think that's all to be said. I think I'm gone for now. Enjoy your day and I will enjoy mine.